Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. The Thomas Nakabad lies with Kumisha Shirala, get up honest to the elders of Israel, being the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom Wahab Labach Yahshua Shirala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at you again with another lesson, Baha'u Chachorah Shah and Holy Spirit of Truth. <clears throat> I don't have a specific topic just yet, or a specific title just yet, but the topic is going in on this precept that I came across in the book of Philippians. I'm reading um, Philippians in the book of Ephesians. It's my own personal read, and um, I'm going to just hop right into it. This is the book of Philippians chapter 2, and I'll start at verse 14. Do all things without murmurings and disputings, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of Yahweh, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. And how do we shine as lights? By applying what's written. How do we separate ourselves from the rest of our nation, who's rebellious as fuck? And that's the times that we live in, and we living in the times of separating ourselves from the rest of these people so that when Yahweh Shai returns he already know you know he already know what it is he going to see it's going it's shown in our actions not just in words not just not just in speech scriptures say let us love and let me just read it um This is the book of 1 John chapter 3 and verse 18. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. That's how we show our love to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. In deed, in our actions. Let's look up the word deed. This is the word uh, deed on online etymology dictionary. It says that which is done, acted, or performed. Okay? So we need to perform what we're preaching, right? We need to live what we are learning, apply what's being taught onto us, all right? From Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai through the men that he has established to teach us, to lead us through the words that we are reading, okay? It says... This is back in Philippians chapter 2 and verse 15. This verse 15 is heat, but really the point is 16. It says that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of Yahweh. This is the sons. This is characteristics of the sons of Yahweh. Okay? The heavenly father. Basham Yahweh Shai, the name is only begotten son. Because that's the only way we have access to the heavenly father is through his only begotten son. And that's why we need to move how he moved. All right? This is the book of 1 John, since we still have that, I still have that 1 John up. This is 1 John chapter 2, and verse, I'll start at verse uh, 5. It says, But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of Yahweh perfected. Whew. He that keepeth his word. Let's go to that. 1 John 2. First John 2 and 5, he that keepeth his word, that word keepeth, that's not giving me nothing, has no English equivalent, see definitions. Let's, let's look at uh, another translation. First John chapter 2 and verse 5, it says, but those who obey Yahweh's word truly show how completely they love him, that it, that Salakia, that is how we know we are living in him. Okay, so to keep his word means to obey his word, to be obedient unto his word. Going back into that first John, the third chapter, let us not love in word, but in deed and in truth. What does deed mean? In our actions. Okay, that's how we show our love in the performance of what we are learning. Applying what's being taught unto us by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay. By Bahasham Rachakodash. Right through again through the men that he has set up, through our own personal reading, through our own personal life lessons. 
The Lord is speaking to us. The Lord is guiding us. He's building us up. He's raising us up. Okay? From boys to men. And from men to gods. To immortals. To incorruptible beings. That's that's the big picture. Okay? It says, this First uh, John chapter 2 and verse 5, it says, but whoso keepeth his word in him verily is the love of Yahweh perfected. Hereby know we that Salakia. In him verily is the love of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh shall perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that saith he abideth in him ought himself also so to walk even as he walked. We have to walk as Yahweh Shai walked. Now, when we go into that word walk, it's the Greek word perpapateo or peripateo. Let me see what he got to say. Strong's G, 4043. Peripateo. Peripateo. It says, I'm going to go straight to, to this definition. It says Hebrew for to live. Okay, so we ought to live as he lived to conduct oneself. We have to conduct ourselves as he conducted himself. What does second Peter, the third chapter say? It says what man seeing that all these things will be dissolved. What manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? That word conversation means conduct. What kind of conduct are we supposed to be in a holy conduct, a godly conduct? Right. This is um, another definition that says to regulate one's life. To regulate means to be under the control of. All right. This this word is we have to be 100 percent obedient to it to the best of our ability. We fall. We make mistakes. That's going to happen. We're in sinful flesh. All men fall short of the glory. That's why we need Yahweh Shai. So that we can keep. What's written in this book perfectly. That's why we need him to return and deliver us from these bodies. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He didn't go up on that cross for no reason. He didn't do what he did for no reason. Okay. Great. Great glory is coming, coming to him. More than he has already. That he has already. At the tongue. At, it's like at the name of Yahweh Shai. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. All right. He's going to bring, he's going to return and he's going to earn his respect, all right, from the whole entire earth by bringing judgment on all these wicked ass people, on all his enemies, putting all his enemies under his footstool. This is what, this is what we're proclaiming. We're proclaiming Yahweh Shai. We're heralding our king, our ruler. King of kings, Lord of lords. That's what we're talking about. That's the message. We have a savior. And justice will be served. Okay? You will be brought down. It says, that's it on that. Let's go back. Let's go back to this Philippians. This, this wasn't supposed to be a long video by any means. But let's go back to that Philippians. Uh, two in verse 15 that ye may be blameless and harmless the sons of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation so like a perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights in the world holding forth the word of life we shine forth so like we yeah we shine as lights in the world how? By holding forth the word of life. Now, when we go into that word or that phrase holding forth, it's the Greek word apecho, apecho, to have or hold upon, apply, to observe, attend to, to apply. And that's the key. And that's really where this video was sparked off of, to apply, holding forth the word of life or applying the word of life is how we shine as lights among this crooked and perverse world. All right. 
by applying, by showing our love in deed and in truth, rehearsing the righteous acts, those are the gonna, those will be the ones that are delivered from the noise of the archers and everything else that comes before them, nuclear missiles. Matter of fact, in the book of Revelation, chapter 3 and, and verse 10, it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation because we kept his word, because we applied his word, because we remain faithful to his word. Right. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And our temptation is talking about the MOTB, the M-A-R-K of the beast, the R-F-I-D C-H-I-P. All right. That's the hour of uh, that's the hour of temptation to implement the implementation, okay, of that uh, digital all, and that's right around the corner. That's what they're talking about, and that's what they into. That's what they obsessed with. They obsessed with pushing that, all right, bringing this system down, pushing that that new system, that digital system, because that's how they think they're gonna obtain godhood, okay. That's how they think they're going to get total control. All right. And if everything were to go as planned, which is not going to be like this devil's crazy. He's he's wilding. All right. But that's exactly, you know, they would they would have shit on lock. They would have shit on lock more than they already do. They'll be able to track everything. Surveillance, everything. You will own nothing. You will have nothing and you will be happy. That is what he's trying to get, total control. But in the book of Job, it says in the fullness of his sufficiency, when he is about to fill his belly, the Lord will rain fury upon him and he shall be in straits. Roughly paraphrasing, there's another scripture in Job, it says he will not be able to perform his enterprise. He already lost, man. He already lost. All we need to do is keep this word. Continue to observe what's written. Continue to apply what we're reading. Remain faithful to Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And that's who he's going to come and deliver. Those lights. Those wise versions with their candles burning. Okay. So let's go back. I don't think I finished that. Uh, Philippians. This Philippians. Shit. Salakia. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 16. It says, holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice, holding forth, applying, right? The word of life, applying the word, applying what's written. That I may rejoice in the day of Mashiach Yahweh Shai, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Holding forth the word, applying the word every day to the best of our ability. So that when Yahweh Shai returns, we can rejoice. Why? Because those are the ones that Yahweh Shai is going to save. Those are the ones that's going to be kept from the hour of temptation. And those are the ones that's going to be delivered from that nuclear fire. Okay. We'll finish it up with that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33 and verse... Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 15, verse 14. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness have surprised the hypocrites when we cut off guard, when we cut lacking. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? Who's going to survive this, man? Okay, who's going to survive this devastation that Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai is bringing via intercontinental ballistic missiles? And before the missiles get shot, it's going to be all... All different other types of devastation and judgment. Evil being brought forth by the Lord. Who's going who's gonna to dwell amongst us? Who's going to be delivered from this? Verse 15. He that walketh righteously. We looked up that, that word walk in the Greek. And the Greek, the Greek definition, it said what? Goes back to the Hebrew means to live. So he that liveth righteously. 
who, he whose life is centered around this word. He that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly. He that so our our, our walk got to match our, our words got to match our walk. Okay. It says he that despiseth the gain of oppressions that shaketh his hands from holding of bribes. That stoppeth his ears from hearing of blood and shutteth his eyes from seeing evil. He shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. Bread shall be given him. He shall dwell on high. He's going to get delivered up in the nuke. He's going to be delivered from the nukes. All right. And delivered up into the chariot. So-called UFOs. So-called UABs. It says his place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. He's going to be defended. Bread shall be given him. His water shall be sure he's going to eat in time of famine and drought. Okay. Verse 17. Thine eyes shall see the king in his beauty. They shall behold the land that is very far off. Salvation. See the king. Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Changed out of these vile bodies. That it may be likened unto his glorious body. And taken back into the land. To rule, to conquer, and to set up an everlasting kingdom. Streets paved with gold. First fruits. Repair of the breach. Restores of paths to dwell in. This is the opportunity that's being presented on to us. Okay? So, having that said, Lord willing, that was edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh. Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Chachorash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, in mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful... In the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior, Chachorash, the Holy Spirit, that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. The Thamashanaka Bala is a Kumish or Sharala, get up honest, the elders of Israel being the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom, Wahala, Bachyar, Sharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom, Machim, brothers, keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draw off nine, redemption is near to and believe. Shalom.